Hello, it's Jam Fee for HD, and welcome to my new series, The Trading Guide. So, this is going to be my last trading tip series on FIFA, and yeah, we're going to be doing the best trading method for each coin range, so you guys will know exactly when you've got a certain amount of coins, how to trade with that amount of coins. So, I'm going to be doing a giveaway as well. All you've got to do is hit that like button and comment an idea for a new trading series I could do. For example, forfeit trading could be a good one, but just comment, I'll pick a winner, and that will be announced by a message to them. So, we are back, and yeah, the method we are gonna be doing today is a very easy one, and you guys will not be, you will not regret doing this, that's all I'm gonna say. Just picked up one here, I'm gonna go and show you it. This Bitten Court for 1,500 coins, and we can sell that for 3K. Now, you want to know how to do it? Yes, you probably do. So, what you've got to do is put silver in. Then, you've got to go to a good chemistry style. For example, Hunter's a very good one to do it on, but we're going to do it with Hawk. So, 1,500 coins is probably the range that I like to do it with. You can do it with a lot more, but the amount of deals that you'll be getting it will be quite a lot. So, it will probably spend, like, more than, well, probably more than 10k if you've got it. But it's round about that range. It's not too high, it's not too low. And you can make a good profit from all these. So, yeah, the web app's obviously messed up, so it's gonna flick through and I'll be right back. So, I am there, well, basically, I'm there, and I found a couple of players that might be good. So, if you find someone, these are the things that you want to be looking out for. The league of the player is always a key one. How many they are on the market, of, like, if there's any more. For example, a Figueroa, if there's any other Hawk versions of him of him on the market, you can probably add that in and go and test it. And last, you've got to find out how much they go for before the chemistry style applied to it. So for example, if Donaldson goes around about 150 coins before, and there's a lot going for around about a K with Hawks on, you will probably not be making too many coins. As you see, there's a load of Hawk ones, right? Under 250 coins, that's just not really good. But if you add these in, I'm going to go and show you why these might be a good deal at is here so how much do go the next one with a hawk on is there's no ones and 550 coins is a bargain let me tell you and you can easily double your coins without any real problems you can also do other chemistry styles for example catalyst hunter engine are all good ones and you can probably pick up some insane ones you want to be looking for the rare ones to start and then go on to the non rare ones because They'll sell a lot quicker the ones with that are rare, but if there's any non-rares with good leagues, you want to be capitalising on them. So let's just recap what you want to be looking for is how much they go for before the chemistry style applied to how much the chemistry style goes for on its own, and how popular they think they will be, um, and then you will be on to a winner. That's all I'm going to say. So there's a lot of Brett shares up, Banzer versions, no idea why, but yeah, you probably could pick up a few good ones. Just basically, just check out, wait actually, Castillo, we're going to have a look at that one, so. So this is a prime example of the method. Castillo goes around about 1,000 coins, and the engine goes around about a K, so. So, that's obviously around a, a good little deal, we're going to probably list it for around about 1.8, 1.9, but that is how you do it, you, I know it goes around about 1K anyway, so it's basically paying 200 coins for an engine card. Really simple, really good, and always list for 12 hours because you don't want to be carry on realist if they don't sell. So the final way on how to do this is on the bid. Now, you will probably not get as many deals on the bid, but it's still a very good way to do it. So if we just go Hawk, and we go for around about 1.5k under, and there should be some that pop up for really cheap, and we'll probably get some nice little deals. So Adrian, 1.5, 1.6, Donaldson. If there's a difference between the buy now and the bid that is when you want to be going in or if it hasn't got a buy now because for example this Gudetti if I pick that up 1.6 it's probably not going to sell because it, the buy, it's not selling in the buy now anyway so there's no point really you just want to keep going and find a big difference and if they've got a bid on that's probably going to be a good deal like I always say so guys I hope this video has helped you and if the best way by an absolute mile I hope you gave it a go and just tell me what price range you'd like to see next episode and yeah, I hope this helps. It's going to be my last trading tip series on FIFA 14. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember to leave a like for the giveaway and comment a new trading series I could do. 
and I will catch you later. I'm in Jumpy Fresh D. Peace.